Hi right, everybody, it's the 18th of August, that means the Burley Classic Show. So, just going to pop in and have some look at some old cars. This is usually a Burley in Wharfdale, which is where we are at the Cricket Club. Now the good thing about this show is it's a very good turnout. The bad thing is there's nowhere to park outside. The best way to get in is to buy a classic car and come and sit on the field or buy a house and sit in your drive. Anyway, we're here now. Let's have a look around. Now it's just about, not about classic cars. You sometimes get some road rollers as well. Oh. And the backup crew. Now over there, it's not just cars. There's stalls and eateries and all sorts. But back to the cars. It's just like this MG just toddling off. Right, clearly a classic uh, ice cream van. Mmm, over. What's that? See, we're not all like you, you see. Oh. Little ants. <laughs> the knuckle duster on the bonnet. I didn't know that. And let's see. Pennant. I've not seen one of them before. Hmm. Oh. Little muggy miner. Split screen. Okay. Ah, that's a Holden. It looks like an Amiga. It's actually a 98 Holden. <laughs> Not a Vauxhall. Hello. Well, oh, made in Australia. Should have the V8 in it. For all the world, it looks like an Amiga. Oh no, V6. Uh, this. Uh, okay. Yeah, Buick Design 3.8 V6. General Motors. 4L6E automatic gearbox. Lovely. With a moggy miner. Ah. Classic. Carlton. Mmm. Not many left. Is that there? That's nice. Oh, a couple of MGs. Oh. You can always call the GPO if your phone breaks down. Ah, now there's an Austin. Looks like a Land Rover. But it's actually an Austin Gypsy. Oh. No brace of muggy miners. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry, the American Army's here. Ooh, 1942 Jeep. Um, yeah, right, okay. Big Bertha. Oh, two seven, two seven six or something. Two seven six. Ah, yeah. It's good to see a nice Chevy. Well, that's nice to turn now. Ah, uh, Moist Commercial. Both those anti aircraft gun tractor. Ah, uh, just a tow. Excellent. And the uh, Minor. Redoubtable VW Camper. 
brace of campus. <laughs> oh, there's some old stuff. Um, Javit Javelin, good hell. See many of them about. There's another Javit. Get a bit of good old starting handle. Ah, proper MG. Uh, proper motoring there. Wind in your hair, flies in your face. Mmm. Oh, Austin. Um, Austin Cambridge. You said one of them, but not quite that old. It's nice, Mac 2 Cortina. Proper mini. Couple of proper minis. Okay. There's a Hillman Impunz there. Ooh. That's it. No, oh, I believe we saw this at Yorkshire. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, Eden Carnival. Very, very tidy. Mac 2 Cortina. Ooh, V, v dub. Howdy. Oh, Callista. Oh yeah. Ah, Panther. Well, oh, Panther. You know that, because it says on the back of the seats. It's good to know what you're getting into. And in fact, there's one on the bonnet as well. Sorry, the wing. Back to Esco. Subi. Proper Mini. Ooh. Ferrari Fiat. Lancia. Oh, proper villain's car. Villains always had Mac 2 Jags. Hello. Not too bad, how are you? Oh, nice chap, doesn't look like a villain. Anyway. Here dub. Um. Ooh. Ooh, touring super legger. So that'll be Super Legera. Can't be too an exhaust. Oh look skyline. I do like. A nice skyline. Love them. Right, next door. Uh, the fit. Another one, Valencia. Sierra. Cobra? Good motor. We should have one of them. It was tidy. Toyota Triumph. Oh, that'll be the tier five, I think. No, oh, no, tier four A. Eh? That was close. No banana. Over here. Oh. Straight six triple carbs. <laughs> 3000 Healy. Mark 2. Another very tidy mini. Midgets. MG, MG, MG. That's there's a slight MG theme going on here, it could be a club. Right, what back down this side, we've got a 
Fiesta. A very tidy Fiesta. Here's a new number plate. Mmm. Some roof. Stag. That'd be a stag. Look, Pete, look. Oh. Lee Francis. Coventry. Lee Francis. Hmm. I haven't seen one of them before. Ah, this is both. This is a kit car. Looks very tidy. Uh, Mazda, another Cobra. I can never tell the genuine ones from the fake ones. Mmm, nice side pipes. Can't beat side pipes. Mmm, BW, that'd be nice when it's finished. Oh, E type. Mmm, V12. Yeah. That's a nice MG. Oh, so he, that's got the original. Running boards. Ah, Rover. The epitome of luxury. Yeah, that's something you don't see every day. And before we'll drive. Uh, um, Sierra. No, oh, XR4 before, you don't see many of them. All Fords never do. Just get faster. Little Fiat. Yeah. That's cute. Okay. Got a lift, mate? No, thanks. We're in a hurry. So, four cylinder. I'm not mistaken, that's a blower. Oh. Interesting. Right. I guess it's as good as mine. Triumph. Get a stag. <laughs> like a stag. It's got a new radiator. Oh, TR6 over there. I always wanted a TR6. Didn't get one. Couldn't afford it. A oh, TVR. Look at that, it used to be made in Blackpool. Oh, Camaro. Mmm. Ooh, that's a nice, uh, nice tidy end of proper mini. Base of Austin's. Ah. Good old Vauxhall Victor FB. I had one of these, but it was the VX490. You got a four on the floor and a stripe down the side and twin carbs. Ah, he's got a four on the floor as well. Too cool. The thing is, I had lots of rivets in mine as well to hold the wings together. Those were the days, eh? You could do that. Carmen. TR5, TR3, oh, three, well, 3, 4, 5 then, and the 6. Bosch, split screen, Moggy, TR5. Yeah, a mare flower. That's a triumph. Same with Mayflower. <laughs> Very nice um, non Harry Potter Anglia. Ooh, classic Range Rover. Yeah, nice. 
Good old classic Range Rover. And a mini Land Rover. And the series. The Rhino, the series. I believe this is series one. Not too sure about Land Rovers, even though I've got one, but not too sure about the series. They're not all defenders, the early ones are uh, series one, two and three. Yeah, cute little fit. Roger Rainer, with a stag. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Twin Strombies. Mmm. They're Austin Haley. Okay, that's a little windscreen. Try to get the flies in your face, no problem. 1956 Citroen Traction Avant. That's as old as me. And it looks in a lot better shape. Hello. Mmm, very nice. Not really a Citroen fan, but that's really nice. Um, the Riley, it's in Riley. Ooh, I've broken down, call the RAC. Oh yeah, for the seatbelt. Sag, V-Dub. Um, the Jowett. Bloody mine, eh? Ah, some Beam Talbots. Um, Wow, that is an old lorry, Morris Oxford. Running bills, two box, no windows. Pop a roll trim. What have we got here? Morris Mine, a two seater. Oh. Mmm. Right, what have we got down there? A plethora. The stags. So that'll be the stag club then. Never knew there were so many. No, there's a Ooh, nice wire wheels. Oh, half a roof. Oh, yeah, camera lights. Look at that. The loads. Lots and lots of stags. Ah, some back to the old uh, Land Rover. Now, part of this uh, venture is, uh, is um, sponsored by Jake Wright, so he's usually got one or two. Look at this baby. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, there was an article on this in the Land Rover Owners magazine. Oh, it's drive station one. It's the next Scottish one, I think. I'm not sure. Let's check on that. NVH432. How will the tax disc? Uh, 18 pound that cost. Back in 79. Right, so it's a bit too big for you. What about something smaller? Tilt top? <laughs> Indicators? Put your winker out, man. There you go, look. Don't bother with carpets. Got mucky. Good holiday. Yep. Hmm, <laughs> got optional heater. Proper open air motoring if you wanted it. Oh, no, 
You know, in this country, right. This is a Land Rover as well. This is a one one forward control. Primarily used by the military. They had V8s in them. Early V8s. Quite collectible. This one's in very good nick. Mm. Right, back to solid hold products. Oh, lightweight. Do you want me to take a video of you in this? In this <laughs> no, it's fine. You know, people want to see me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be Series 3 V8. Quite like a V8. Yeah, Scooby. It's just over there, so it must be. New Scooby. New Scooby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. It's been in the top. Yeah. If he wants to sit in it, it's all fun. If you sit in it, don't be driving it. Don't be driving it. Mmm. What the chuff are you doing here? Look, I've spoiled my film now. <laughs> oh, that was Dave. Um, that's a V dub. Oh. Right, New Zealand. Might not be from around here. Yeah, it goes on the wrong side. Right. Oh. That's a Ford Pop. Mm -hmm. That's not a Ford Pop engine. That's a proper sleeper, is it? Closing the back window. Right. Now we've got some of the American stuff. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see the slip diff. It says it all. Mmm. Mmm. Let's keen about the hats. They look fluffy dice. Who's used to have some of them. Now, look what's next door. The epitome of luxury, the 59 Cadillac. What size of it? Well, same, same size as our house. See yourself down there, going down the road with your arm out the window in that. Right, next door. Ooh, Buick Eight. Yeah. Cars come trim. Yeah, next door, everybody's favourite, Dodge Charger. Not a General Lee. Straight forward, 68 or 69. Mmm. That's clean. Mmm, it's empty. Very, very nice. And everybody's favourite, Little Mustang. Uh, top. Mmm, nice big shift. No more vents. Mmm. That's a good size for these, uh, for our roads. Well, next door, 57 Chevy. 
Oh, it's clean. Put chrome on that. Hmm, interesting. If it's the same one I'm thinking of, this one at Silcoats a few years ago. It's got a beam and shift, I don't know, it might not be. Ah, nice pickup. Foose pickup. Mmm, modern tech. Right, so next door to that is a 67 Pontiac Firebird. Okay, that took a, took a while to restore that. 22 years. Made a good job of it though. You can see he's got a fitted radio. So you keep your dollars. Fluffy dice. Um, I like the speedo on the, on the outside. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Beautiful. Thank you. Very, very tidy firebird. And next to that is a good old vet. 78 vet. Classic shape. Love him. There was quite a few issues. all wired and that. And it come out and it, mm. so you could put it in the hand. Right, so, oh, another stag. We must, we can't have a room in the uh, stag section. Nice paint. So, Mark 3 GT6. Another Austin Healy. Another Jowett Javelin. Ooh, what a pop. Oh, slot mags. I do hope he's got a V8 two speed power glide and a jug rear end. Nope, standard axle. <laughs> nice though. Right, up this side. Ah, uh, Austin Cambridge. We used to have one of them. Used to repair the floor with bean cans and rivets. These are rotted out. Oh, these all fell off. They were rotted out behind the wings. Well, there's six of them. Look at that. Mm. Another E type. Two. So is that the V8? No. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably a straight six, a straight eight, not sure. Ooh, another vet. Another vet. So a bit more modern. That's back to the older type, 75. It's a more modern one. Couple of emissions. 5.7. Mm. Reliability. Yeah, can't be the old classics though, can you? Red Corvette. Followed by another one. And uh, another one, Bowling Green Kentucky. 82. 
was nice. Hmm, most clearly pirate. I was wondering where the headlamps went. SMG, Florida. Mm. Mm, there's that up. Mm, go it. That's go of it, club. Um, Merc. 1990. Hmm. Dolly Sprint. Very nice. Mm. Mm. Very, very nice. Zodiac. Right, Zodiacs are the twin headlights and the consoles are the single, I think. I always like these. Good old American style and French seat. Column change. Mm. Just nice. Never got one. Yeah, the eight pilots. Let's do it. Mm. Yeah, what's over here? Uh, a couple of mesh smiths. Trojan. Ooh, my Trojans, not much of it. Whatever you do, don't drive it to a wall and back up. He's got to get out. Alright, moving down this section. Right, this is the Aston Martin section. This is quite posh. You have to wipe your feet on the grass before you get to walk around. Not exactly Aston Martin um, knowledge, to, knowledge type, so I'm not sure what we're looking at. Just nice. Where well, that's Aston Martin DB9. Wow. Or James Bond. What? What? Dan, what? Um, what is his name? Daniel Craig. There's loads of Aston Martin. Oh, man. Wow. Twin cam. Oh, fuck herbs. Free flow exhaust. That's a car. Oh. Sweet six. We've got sidetracked here. Let's back up a little bit. Right, a little billionaire. <laughs> Completely impractical, but look great to look at. Where do you put your shopping, for goodness sake? Mm. Yep, that's an Martin. Yep. 
Look here. Try changing the alternator on that. I didn't have a Super Ligera, it was a Aston Martin. Hmm. Take a look at the other side. Uh, I think to Aston Martins. Well, it says it, discs. <laughs> you don't see you need them at all. Oh, that's nice. Well, I like the old one. Like Retro vintage. Beautiful. Nice, that's just the Martin section. Very nice it is too. Ooh, Corvette going. The ordinary stuff. I've seen seven deluxe. Okay. Support Mary Curie. Ooh, blimey, Rover. 214. Soft top. I was wanting one of them. Oh, the Weatherby Classic Car Club. What else have we got? The Hillman. The Roots Group, the long defunct Roots Group. I said it was 40 to the maximum, but maybe yeah. just put back on. Well, that was... Oh. Citroen 2CV. Called Dolly. Hmm. Must be French. It's got French writing on the back. We'll save the tortoise. Next to it, another. Is it lost in? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, very interesting. It's not strictly a classic, but. H.O. Uh, says, about 1990. 89. Classic in the making, It's open if you want to walk in. It's open. Yeah. Strictly speaking, there's a micro under there. I wouldn't want to sell it. Hmm. Anyway, next door, the proper rover. Proper rover. Oh, yeah. Two and a half to eight. Spare wheel on the boot, that's the way you do it. Oh, yeah. Just put the 8 on the dashboard just in case you forget. And put your foot down. Well, next door, we've got a nice Merc. The soft top, so BNSL. Oh, look at that. A roller. Everybody loves a roller. White walls. I'm not a very fan of black leather, but that's just me. <laughs> Next door is a Golf Cabriolet. <laughs> not just Norton. What are you doing? Ooh. Next to that, we've got a Chevy Super Sport. LED headlights. <laughs> 66 m power. Mmm, 
shiny. Very, very shiny. <laughs> very nice. About twice the length of the uh, Volkswagen. Nice rims. That is very tidy. <laughs> yeah, we've got still got drum brakes. Yeah, drums on the front. Mmm. So I just thought... Well then. Think that. 33 Ford. Nice pinch wrap. Some hot side. Another V8 with a blower. Chopped. Mmm. Cloud. Beautiful. Mmm. Mazda. Honda. Right. What's that side? Let's just go to the back of the stag. So we're going to cross over that. We're going to go up this side now. Time with the Cobra. I do like a nice blue exhaust. That's all some Cobra. Oh, fantastic. So that's going back to about 68. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Cobra. What's next? Corvette. Yeah, I saw that. The price this one at 30 quid yesterday. Yeah, natural. That's the business. Another vet. Somebody's gone. Oh, that's an old one. 78 Camaro. LT. Very nice. Another. Pop V8 and the oils, the box. Oh, look, this is his gold. Yeah, I went to. Oh, yes, yes, there we go. Jag rear end. Good man. Just need some slot mags. Right, Austin. Porsche. Riley. Mmm. Tortoise. Yeah, I don't think so. It's quite roverish at the back, isn't it? Seven. I think my granddad had one of these. I think everybody had one of them at one time. Uh, another bank robber, clearly. And uh, another Riley. Austin 7. Thank you, Austin. Oh, good old Austin 1300. Hi for sale. Oh, very nice. That's a vinyl. Very, very tidy. Mmm. Right. That's that side. Let's go back down here. Ooh, look, some more MG. Mmm. Lots of MGs. Soft tops, hard tops, plastic fronts, proper fronts. There's a lot of those about now. 
Andy, Andy, Jaguar. Mm. Andy, Andy. Ooh, purple Andy. This is a V8. How many are these about? Nice paint job. That's how a V8 should be. That's another one. Oh, look at that. Mm. Nice. Well, good old E type. Ah, V12. Right. The bad news is it's starting to rain. So, a quick look down here. Right, lots and lots of MGs. Quite popular MGs because they're a good size and you can fix them in your garage. Beetles, MGs, MGs. Ah, problem in these. Discargo, Discargo. 94 Rover Mini Cooper, Monte Carlo. Okay, 1300, very good. Mm. Oh, one's gone off. G, Mazda. Nice. That looks like a Daimler. No, different sound. Daimler and Lanchester. Wow, they love the soft tops and Daimlers. Wouldn't them? No, of course it is. It's just one of the hubcaps. Granddad had a Daimler. He had a Daimler Sovereign. That's bring me back a special sports. Two and a half litre, twin cabs, preset to gearbox, three fold speeds plus overdrive. Wow. 1952. Plus 2,560 pounds and seven shillings. Wow. Anyway, back to reality. And geez. Porsche. Saab. Really Saab. Saab. Saab 96 was a sports 1963. Uh, 841 cc, three cylinder, party two stroke. Wow! Who thought? Two stroke. Hmm, very rich villain. There's the golf there, there's MG, Healy, Healy's. That's what he said. Porsche. That's it. Motorbike. Honda motorbike. Over the Datsun. Very tidy. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Two foot is ahead. Too many of them. Mm. Very good. And next to that, Realton, a Realton, what's a Realton? Okay. Careful, what you can see. Realton. 
don't know. Oops, uh, oh, and there's a limp. Mmm, like imps. Engines in the back. Yeah, you better around the back and you can see what's going on. You can then, thank you very much. You want to move the. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with it, no, yeah. I'm just going to go with it as it is. Well, yeah, these are some pictures of when it was uh, being restored. Okay. Yeah, it's not an imp. It's not an imp they ever made. A husky they ever made because it's got four headlamps on the front, which is a stiletto. Oh, okay. It's got a stiletto dashboard. Yeah. And then it's got a, a 998 rally engine thing in ah, here. That's twin, twin Strombergs. And I'm in the process of making an air filter because the standard imp one, they, they never put it in a husky so that it won't fit. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's typical. That's the way it goes. Well, it has a the, the correct one has a sort of lump up here and then a pipe up there, so it won't, wouldn't go under this. Okay. But they never made one with twin strongbows anyway, so. No, they have as an iron. No, they didn't. It's a one-off that I, I, I've, I've turned it into a special. Room. Yeah. Well, if it works, it's good, isn't it? It does. Thank you. Things like disc brakes. Yes, you need them. Thank you. Well, there you go. It's a husky. <laughs> and then G has been about a bit. Right, well, that appears to be most of it. So that's a quick skip round, we've seen, seen some stuff. Some classic motorbikes over here, we'll go have a look at. If you're into motorbikes. Mmm, rather chopper. Could never afford one of them. AJS, PSAs. Nice. Oh yeah, go to Toy Harley Davidson, can't you? Mmm. Shiny. Right. Martin section again. And this is one, don't we? Um, and and the same thing. I'm again. Look, it's happened again. And Mm-hmm. 
Basically, a quick look around at the Burley Classic Casual. We're going to toggle off now just before it rains. I think so with everybody else. So, that's it. This happens every year around about this time. So, I'll no make a note in your diary. No, we can't get out there. Let's we'll go down here. Just before I go, I'm going to have a quick look at the other stuff that's available. And stalls and things. They had a band on last time. ACDC, I think. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Stalls and things. Mmm, buffalo burgers. I don't know if the buffaloes are making the burgers or the burgers are made out of buffaloes. Mmm, uh, coffee. Lots of coffee. Mm. Vegan goodness. And just across the way. <laughs> Vegan goodness. The sausages smell beautiful. Well, it's slightly going back. Right, some more stalls over here. Yorkshire chilies, some pancakes, and all sorts of stuff. Mmm, veg. Mmm, more coffee. Good life on the veg. Yeah, it seems to be some kind of um, <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, at that point, right then, that's the classic car show at Burley. Um, and then the rest of the stuff that goes with it. So I'm I'm off back. Get a cup of tea. Jobs are good. See you in a bit.